Excuse me, sir. Yeah, mate. I heard you won an iDrive unit for your 150 Prado. I did. I All right, did. do you want to grab it and I'll show you how to install it? That'd be fantastic. Let's go and have a look. Sorry, I've got you on candid camera. That's all Feel right. prepared. Yeah. Are you excited about your new toy? Absolutely. All right, let's get it out. We're going to go over the car and plug this thing in, guys. So this is the beast. This is the vehicle. Here we go. Mate, these are so easy to install. I don't even know why. I don't even need to help you with this. All right, I'll show you a trick. I think you're going to do it, all right? This is how easy it is. All right, let's open it up. Get the unit out real carefully. Put on the seat here so everyone can see what's going on. We'll show them how easy it is. Just gently get that, slip that. Nice fancy boxes like um, iPhone boxes. Yep. All very fancy. Yeah, just carefully get that cardboard. Take that through there. Gentle little wires. Now we're going to use the double-sided tape on the back eventually to stick it on. The best place, I think, is here on that flat area there. Because yep. you can see it when you're driving, otherwise it's going to be untidy anywhere on your dash and whatever. But we're not doing that yet, that's it. Unwrap that is one step. All it is, mate, see this? And you've got your iDrive sticker. Beautiful. For your window. Yep. All this is, it's a throttle accelerator pedal. Um, what do you call it? What's the word? Um... Like interface, what's the word? Like a piggyback thing, right? Yep. So you unplug the plug on the top of the accelerator. On the top of the accelerator. Yeah. Okay. No. It, accelerator. Accelerator? Not it. There's no accelerators. There's no <laughs> eggs either. Right? And this, bada boom, you've got to be careful. I see how small the pins are. Oh, yeah. This is the one I want. Just be careful. See the little pins? Yep. We're going to do it. What's easier sometimes, we might get a 10 mil. There's two little 10 mil nuts to take this. It's dark under there, guys, but there's two little 10 mil bolts. You can't even see, middle of the picture, maybe, with no light. But we'll unbolt that sucker. We'll carefully unplug it. It's just a little plug, a little release clip like that. Yep. We'll unplug it. We'll take it out. We'll plug this unit into that. And then we'll slip it back sort of into position where we can get this the original plug onto this you get what i mean yep. so we just unplug that off accelerator plug this in and then plug the original plug onto that right R run this wire nice and neatly we can use this tie temporarily for now i've oh, got the uh, cable tie that's all right cool and then plug this plug into that plug and butter boom butter bing you're in business so let's do it so you're down there okay see the accelerator pedal yep see at the bottom yep at the right hand side, see in the middle of the picture there on the camera, that nut there? Yep. That one, and then if you look up, there's another one. Middle of the picture right now, see yep. it's black with a little white thread coming through the middle? Yep. So, first, if you can get to the plug that's a bit further up, let's try and shine the light up. It's just on the top of that plastic unit there. Right. Um, see if you can unplug that. If not, yep. just um, take the nuts right, off so first. You've and got I'll... your two bolts out. Can we just have a look at this? Just for the people at home. Oh, yeah, bolt at the top. Oh, at the bottom, yep, like we said, plug on the top, let's have a look at it, oh yeah, right, so it's just a little release tab on the side now, so we need to gently plug that onto there, just get it really straight and square, gently slow, that's it, you can't really go wrong, just be careful, but just give it a wiggle, so just a gentle wiggle, that's it, that'll be it, bada boom, bada bing at that side of things, so now what you want to do is probably sit the pedal back on, sit the nuts back on, Right. Yeah. The two nuts, and then just grab the plug. But same thing with this plug. Just Gently. obviously because this is a bit higher now, right? Yep. So you just need to bring the plug up, just sort of up a bit higher. Just get it. Don't force it in sideways. Just make sure you get it super square. Yeah. Bring it down gently. Never force these pins. Just you know it'll feel right. Yeah. And just bring it down. It'll just go clicker, and then you can tighten up your nuts, and then we'll run the wire where it needs to go. Have you done the nuts up yet? Done the nuts up and uh, plugged it in. It's already plugged in. Just I've just plugged it in. Did it go on easy? And it like went on very easy with a small click at the end. Click, beautiful. So you know it's on. Don't yeah. knock it or anything because obviously it's plastic and all that. You don't want to. Just be careful of it while you're working on it. Nip those nuts up just nicely. I think there's a torque setting, I don't know, six or seven or eight or something, but you know, just don't go crazy. Just nice how they were. Then we'll run the wire through for this end of things. Wait, guys, you can put it wherever you want, but I'll say we stick it through into there and then plug it into that plug. And I'll show you, double sided tape that on there and Leave the excess wire down in behind that kick trim is what I did on the other one. So, all right, so this unit, you're going to end up sticking it on about there, I reckon is the go. Nice and happy days. Yeah. So you just run stick this wire at this end of the unit. 
shine your light in there and just have a look at it, it's clear, but that should just go straight through and come out the bottom. Let's have a look in there. Yep. Yep, just straight over the top of that trim. So pass it through, do that, poke the plug in. You guys can't see what's going on, so we don't bother that. You know what okay, we do. Okay, so now that you've put the wire through the side there and mounted that, just find those plugs, the two bits, yeah. Just make sure, have a look under there, make sure you're happy with where it is, because what we're going to do, we're going to roll up all the edges and just tuck it in behind the kick trim down there. Yep. So have a look under there, make sure it's routed, that you're going to run it to that side there. Yep. Yep. There's nothing in the way or whatever? No, nothing. Okay, we can change it anyway if, if there's a problem. So get, grab your plugs. Yep. Have a look at them, because they only go one way. Find which way they go and plug it in. So that's your control, you can get to that, nicely done. Wire just neatly goes in, in the side there, and then underneath, all good, nothing hanging out. And you just chuck the, tuck the wires in the side there, beautiful. Just make sure they do, they are in there properly, and they're not going to get out and get under your feet. Okay, let's give it a test drive, eh? You're ready to go for a big burn up south bus up and up. So now we've got it plugged in, we hold the mode button down for three seconds. See how it says 8-8, eight, eight. Um, OO's, OO is uh, manual and 8-8 eight, is automatic, so you're on 8-8, eight, eight. that's cool. So we'll probably just go like that. Back to that again now. You've got three modes, you've got ultimate, that's go faster, you've got economy, that's go slow, and you've got automatic control. So let's just press that, that's economy, we've got that on three. We've got ultimate on three as well. You know what, for a test run we'll give you a bit, hang on, press the wrong button, we'll go you will go up to five and then you've got automatic control so i'll tell you what we'll do right you go for a spin on automatic control see what how you like it then come back press this button right press the mode button on the left and put it on you and that's yep. five and if you want more response you just keep pressing see how it goes six seven eight nine and then goes yep. back to zero it counts up right so yep. it's on five so try i'll put on automatic control try that and then put it on you and come back and tell us what you think First thoughts? Super responsive, completely yeah. different. Did you try both modes? Did you do no, the just the just the automatic? Automatic, yeah. And now I'm going to try the U. So what did you think from that? What that was a completely different drive. Like completely, a new car, right? Completely <laughs> different acceleration. Cool. And that was automatic. So we're going to try the other one now. U. All right, cool. It looks like a fast car now. Anyway, let's see what he says. What was that on? Was that U, that was on U five? U five. How does that compare to that other? What was the other mode called? Automatic Auto, control. Automatic yeah. control, and it's more more power. More, Even more, yeah. More, yeah. 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 And you can go up to ten, mate. If you want to, yeah. you're going to go put it on nine. See what happens. Oh, yeah, we'll put it on nine. And All right, see what we'll happens. call that a day. So you're pretty happy with that? Absolutely. Bada Fantastic. boom, bada bing. All right, mate. Thank you. Okay, let's see. This is the final conclusion. Let's see what he says. I think this was U9, but we'll confirm. What was that, mate? What did you put it on? On That was on U9. Yeah. No lag at all. Super responsive. Move the throttle a Do you reckon it's too bit. much, though? Would you leave it's it there all much. the time? No, you wouldn't leave it there all yeah. the time. Yeah, what do you reckon? Three, four, five, somewhere there? I'd say between three and five. Yeah, yeah. I reckon I got mine on three. Yeah. Just between nice. Helps get rid five. of the lag, a little bit more responsiveness. Yeah. All right, mate. Thank all you. Right, thank Enjoy. you. Enjoy.